right guys, welcome back to the channel. I always see questions on the forums of how are people mounting their light bar on their Renegade. Let me show you how I did mine, let's go. All right guys, so excuse the busted up rad kit video coming on that soon. However, what we did was is just basically went to Home Depot and got, these are inch and a half by inch and a half L brackets, and then just sunk some screws in, and that's it. Very simple install. I've hit trees with this. Now, as you can see, did lose a screw, so I'm gonna have to get another screw there. Man, this thing, it's not going anywhere, guys. It's not going anywhere. The biggest thing you have to really worry about, this, the light bar is not going anywhere. The biggest thing you have to worry about is actually your cap coming off unclipped. Now, I will say this, guys. If you are running an OEM rad relocation cover, a radiator kit, <laughs> make sure that these are down all the way when you're traveling. It will fly off. I'm not saying I know that from personal experience, <laughs> but I do know it. But to me, that is pretty much the cleanest look you can get without custom making some sort of bracket or 3D printing some sort of bracket, I believe in my mind. Mounting a light bar bigger than that, I think would be very difficult to do. Again, this is one of the reasons why I went with a 14 inch uh, single row LED light bar. Link a video of my review of this light bar above me, so go ahead and check that out. But again, very simple way that I mounted the light bar to my Renegade. There's really no good place to mount them. I was thinking mounting it here, but to be honest, as you can see, how long is it gonna take before you bust your light bar? So then I was like, well, I'll mount it, you know, behind the plastics. Well, the plastics are gonna cover most of them. And then I was thinking, okay, well, I'll get cubes and put cubes here. I think that would probably be my best bet, but the cubes, when I looked at them, weren't going to fit so it was just like one thing after another and so i came up with mounting it up here the other option i did see was possibly mounting it here again with it being low i was thinking i want to mount this as high as possible a and then b mounting it down here how long before i bust it down here and then also if you look at the cut this slants down and then this slants up obviously or however you want vice versa so mounting it flush here you're going to have a gap and then how are you going to how are you going to connect it you know it's just to me this was the best way to get the most use out of the light and the quickest way and also on top of that the most aesthetically pleasing way to mount a light bar to my Renegade. And another issue is, is if you go with a bigger light bar, like the 20 inch light bars, this is a 14 inch light bar. So you're talking what, 15, 16, 17. So that's not really, a 20 inch light bar is not gonna fit to mount on here. So this to me is the, gives you the most aesthetic, the eye approach, keeps it nice and clean. And that's just another day hanging out with your boy PA. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace.